What's that? This is a plastic 3D printed gun. Is it? Uh, 3D printed plastic gun. Plastic gun? Yeah. Something you made? Yes. It might work, it may not. Hence, me down here. If you made it, please don't shoot it here. Okay. My name is Cody Wilson, I'm uh, the director of Defense Distributed, and we print gun components with 3D printers. Yeah, one, one day we want to print guns. <laughs> One, in the United States, it's always been legal to make your own gun. You know, it's always been. People don't do it because, well, what's the last thing you made for yourself? You know, you go buy it. And it's still legal to make your own gun outside of commerce. Literally, all the things that these people are afraid of uh, were already legal. We're just providing you a direct way to do it and saying, yeah, why not? We really don't think politics is possible in a traditional sense, like a real sense anymore after the Cold War. It's boring. It's, it's not possible to do anything anymore in this world. Events have stopped, you know? <laughs> so we're always looking for something just, ah, you know, to, to not only to fulfill us, but just to feel like, okay, you know what, the world isn't such a terrible place. Events can happen again. And we came up with, okay, you can print a gun. That's a cool concept. But it's much cooler when you give it away. Uh, when, you, when you take a page out of open source and ha the hacker and maker movements, you make it political, you stir it up, right? You've got a potent little mixture here. And uh, it's something the world thought was potent as well, I suppose. All right, this is the basic uh, liberator. You got your receiver right here, barrel, uh, internals, and handle. Normally, you use plastic pins to put them all together. I've been using metal ones since uh, that makes them a little bit more reliable. I don't have to worry about those as much. My name is Travis Lau. I'm a 30 year old prior Air Force uh, software engineer. And uh, just got into all this stuff because it seemed fascinating. Air 15 lower, Air 15 magazine. Um, TARDIS with a drawer system that I grabbed off Shapeways and started messing with. It's from Doctor Who. Oh, and 3D printing was in its infancy. I mean, printing a single non-static piece was very easy. It doesn't have to work with anything else, so if the size is a bit off, it doesn't really matter. But as things got better, people want to immediately see how far they can push it. And guns had that mix of controversy and challenge that I think it attracted a lot of people to that. I used uh, the Cube. Uh, it cost me about $1,300. Well, the whole Liberator took about two days to print. Probably $20, $30. I got it directly from DefCAD, pretty much right after it was released, so the whole ITAR thing hadn't been an issue yet. So I'm a law student, right? Now, a lot of the research was, can we do this the way we want to do this? And what is the legal way of doing this? We've only just begun to crack some of these legal problems. But right now, we want to we wanna at least a shot at it. So we have to comply. I'll take some spare in case I break them. All right. We're off to the gun range to uh, give the Liberator its first test. Maybe it'll fire, maybe it won't. But as long as uh, it doesn't take my hand off, that's the important part. Part of the project is at least demonstrating, okay, that the law is in places not this grand encapsulation that it was thought to be and built up through the whole 20th century, right? You know, post Sandy Hook, it was like, we're almost there if we can just take the semi-autos away, you know, to find out that actually, you know, the back door is getting blown off. And in fact, you've got a whole bigger problem heading your way. Literally millions of people, I think, at this point have downloaded it. So the amount of files that are out there is so large that it's accessible to anyone who wants it. I'm not willing to go all the way to say I'm providing you a gun. Well, we're blending, to use the pirate based terminology, there's a physical quality to this. So it's more than information, right? But it's less than an object. It straddles the line. If you want to shoot it off once or twice, I'll, I'll, yeah, go I'll, I'll, okay. I'll walk back. I'll walk back. That's entirely fair, back. yeah. I'll, I'll, get you, I'll let you know before I shoot it then. 3D printers are often subtly different, so uh, if you get a model from somebody else, it may not print in your printer at all, or it may require modification to print correctly. There's definitely a learning curve to it, yeah. Okay. 
It is not firing, so uh, I think I'm done with it. All right, good. So you're done, right? Yes. All right, good. Thanks. All right, we tried it a few times. Um, it was dinging the primer, but it's not going off. Um, it looks like the, the primer is not taking enough force to actually explode reliably. So I think I'm going to improve the firing mechanism and replace it with a more traditional like cylinder striking pin. All right, that should be the basic shape. That's the process. It's never perfect the first time. You uh, make a new one, give it another shot, and just keep going until it gets better. I think other people could definitely do it. Being familiar with computers certainly helped me, but it wasn't uh, specifically a programming task, so I feel like anyone could do what I've done. One of the things I worry about the most is, is that people actually enjoy the pleasurable modes of subservience that they get from watching TV and, and watching politics as a, as a spectator sport. They don't actually want to be political. They don't want to have control over their affairs. It's easier to have everything organized for you. And in fact, giving you the means to produce a gun for yourself, while that might sound revolutionary, is in fact not very interesting to most people. So for me, it's not, well, what, what's the future of 3D printing? For me, it's, can I activate someone politically? <laughs> How can I do this? And what's the most potent, symbolic way of delivering what I, what I think is an essential message, which is that, okay, you know what, human liberty is, is something that you have too. Defense distributed, Austin, Texas. The Liberator itself probably won't have a huge effect because it's a very early gun in this. But I imagine that I'll see future designs built off the Liberator and that will be better in many different ways. You put enough minds to work on something and someone's going to come up with something interesting. There, there's no stress failure point here anymore. Mm -hmm. There's just no way for it to fail mm -hmm. in this setup. Right. I don't have any game. I don't know where this project ends. Some people can have this information. Some people can't. That's interesting. Why is that so? Do we really believe that? Is that just? Is that equitable? Yeah. Uh, not as just and equitable as it could be. And thus, defense distributed.